husband had said, well, I'll do anything for you. He said, but I'm not crossing a picket line. They are the enemies of democracy. They are not interested in the future of democracy. Although the pit's been finished over 20 years, there's nothing been put instead of it. Successive governments have ignored us completely and just left us to rot. And, you know, looking back now in, in retrospect, we were never going to win. We were never going to win. And when I looked, the seats had been removed and there was all little cages inside and the bus was full of men that were in these cages. Some were unconscious. They'd wet themselves. There was blood running down the aisle through head injuries. We weren't out on strike for money. We were on strike for our, our jobs. Nobody will ever realise the full extent of the damage it caused to people's lives, you know. Unfortunately for me, my father died or, or killed on the ground in March 2nd, 1951, and left my mother with four boys to bring up on her own. But personally, if I had a time machine, I'd like to go back to the, the 1930s and see what it was actually like, because... During the 1980s, I photographed the mining industry extensively. The miners strike, the 84, 85 uh, year-long strike took place. I've come back to really find those, some of those people who are still alive to re-photograph them and make new portraits. Mm.